there folks today I'm going to do a tabletop review of the DH gate Karambit scalpel knife now I believe this may be a Bastinelli clone of the Picoa um, I paid £11.62 which is 15 US dollars it's listed as being made out of 440c steel it's Rockwell is 55 to 57 it weighs 28 grams which is one ounce now this is a karambit styled scalpel so let's take a look now I have opened this and fiddled with it but this is essentially how it comes so you'd get it it's in a little uh, bit of newspaper Chinese newspaper and I believe a little plastic bag when I got it here's the clip now the other Bastinelli clone I got, this clip was weak. This one, as you can hear, is quite strong. So let's move the box away. Now, as you can see, hopefully I'll get this the right way. Yep, it's the other way around. I'll keep doing this, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, this is how it fits. Now, as you can see, this clip, this is sufficient. I have tried this on a belt and it does do its job unlike the other version so it can be altered to go all the way up to the top so this sits lower in the waistband so essentially just a ring will sit in and this is what I would call a scalpel design so let's take it out and have a look as you can see it's not very big at all I'm going to pop a link in for this now why would you want this um, I think it's basically a collector's item in the UK you can only really own this for curiosity but however I would say this would be very good for gutting small game so you could post a finger through here and as you see you've got a very workable small blade now for gutting fish and things like that this would be perfect as you can see with it having this jimp in here it allows you to get a really intricate, intricate cut it's a bit like a utility knife but essentially I believe it's a Bastinelli clone if I'm honest I'm not entirely sure but I believe they're very expensive and I'm not surprised they get cloned because how can you pay hundreds of dollars for something so small and insignificant in America, someone might want this as an in the waistband um, self defense knife. However, I have to reiterate this in the UK, you may not own anything for self defense because that would be breaking the Crime Prevention Act. So, this is owned for curiosity and collector's purposes only. It is not owned for any other purpose than collection reasons. It stays on private property. I would, however, if I went trout fishing, consider using this, though, on a serious note, because it's very utility-like, and this ability to post your finger through the hole gives you added security that this knife is going nowhere. It's not going to slip. You're not going to cut yourself. So, all in all, it's quite similar to the cold steel trout knife. Now, they do do clones of them as well. I will always recommend getting the legit genuine version but as we well know on AliExpress and DHgate they clone everything under the sun um, this was from DHgate as I previously mentioned so you could put a tech lock on this you could put any or that K lock I've previously reviewed but this one is plenty strong enough so you can adjust this to go higher up the waistband so essentially that is the only bit that will be sticking out of your waistline then obviously you can draw this like that now it's a bit of a weird sort of self defense knife for the american market but i suppose it's more of a defense more than it's less aggressive than most knives because I, I think you're less likely to actually kill someone and more likely to just injure them to the point where they're going to stop attacking you. 
Now, I will mention this one more time. That statement is only directed at the American market because they are allowed to use things for self-defense. In England, this is just for probably small game prep and as a collector's item only. So, I shall pop the link in the description. Thanks for your time. Please follow all your local knife laws of your area. I am not responsible in any way for what you do. Okay, so if you like knife reviews, please like and subscribe.